Well, a very warm welcome also from my side. I'm Matthias and I'm very pleased and, and also excited to present to you, well, a short live demo of our new credit management solution, Credit Team. Um, well, to use the available time today, let us directly dive into the solution and let's start with the login screen of Credit Team. Well, as, as you have already heard, uh, Credit Team is a SaaS solution. So SaaS solution stands for software as a service. And one of the main advantages of a SaaS solution is that you do not take care about any IT resources on your site. You just get a new URL address, like here, uh, where you can log into your credit team with your personal login information. So what you need is just a web browser and it doesn't matter which kind of browser you use. Then simply click on login and you're directly in uh, the, the home screen of credit team. So here you can find in the first view an overview about um, the current tasks where you should concentrate on. Well, I'm going to explain the tasks in the next screen a little bit more in detail. Here you can find uh, also um, some current figures about your customer portfolio in an overview like, for example, the distribution of your current exposure or your current risk uh, to the different rating classes we have in the system. Or a simple map where you can see um, where your customers are located. Well, or and I scroll down a little bit or simply some, some yeah, simple numbers like number of uh, clients you have in the system or a tree map um, even the, uh, you can see the, just a table where you can see your customers with the top five customers in this example with high ex highest exposure or the top five customer with the highest limit exceeding. So on the first few, you get a very brief overview uh, about your customer portfolio. Um, the second screen I'm going to show you is the task screen of Credit Team. From our point of view, the time is over where you have to check several Excel files or a sheet of paper to find out if something is going wrong with one of your clients. Well, this will be done by Credit Team automatically, anytime around the clock. So if something happens to your clients, Credit will inform you by task. And this is the management by exception approach. So Credit is monitoring all your customers in the background. And if something happens where you are interested in, because this is configurable, as Carsten mentioned before, uh, so you can configure in Credit which information uh, you would like to be uh, informed about uh, from, from Credit and Credit Team will then create a task, and these tasks are shown in the task screen. Well, there are some typical tasks, uh, like a score change here. Um, if, for example, some new external information arrive, and these information are affecting the score of a customer, like um, EGN and insolvency or some updated financial figures. There are also some, some tasks like here, limit exceeded, just for example, if the exposure or the risk of a customer is higher than the current available credit limit of this customer. There are some also some other tasks like, like a typical one would be, for example, payment behavior changed. Um, so Credit Tier is calculating the payment behavior of your customer. So it means how your customer pays your bills, your invoices you send to the customer. And if, for example, the customer usually pays his bills in time, but now he is going to pay his bills on a little bit late, then you will get informed from Credit Tea via task, a payment behavior change, for example. 
And this is, well, I call it the heart of the system. You, you can see um, how many tasks you, you have to work on, how many tasks are directed to your group, and you can also see some uh, yeah, aging structure of the task. And also by easily clicking on the, the, the numbers, on the figures, the list will be updated and you just get the uh, selected um, yeah, filter criteria, filters you have selected here. So this is a very uh, easy way how to work with, uh, with, with tasks and how you work with, with changes to your customer portfolio. Well, let's go over to, to a company, to one of your customers, to, um, to a company screen. I'll take this one as an example. And uh, uh, here you can firstly find some basic information about your customer, the customer master data, like uh, the name of your customer. Yeah. You can see the address information here, uh, or they also displayed the address in, in, in the map here. Uh, you can see the, the um, your customer number from your ERP system. Uh, so you can see who is responsible from credit point of view for this customer, and also who is responsible from sales point of view uh, for this customer. Well, Credit G is a tool for the credit manager, but in, from our point of view, tool for credit manager should always include the sales part, always the sales department, the sales persons, so that the credit manager and the sales uh, people, sales department can work very closely together um, and to reach one goal, one aim for the company. Okay, what else can you see here? You can see, um, yeah, for, for, for sure, the, 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 the scoring of a company. Let's have a look at this one here. Well, a score uh, of the company, in our case, we have a score of 589, it's rating class C. Mm -hmm. It's not the best score, not the worst score. So we have here in, in this example, we have a score range from zero to 1000. Zero means this is the worst score. 1000 is the best score. Here's in the middle. It's okay. Yeah. Um, this is also completely free configurable. So if you are familiar with, with our score scales, like, I don't know, triple A to uh, single D, for example, then it's also possible to um, uh, configure the scorecard, uh, the scoring uh, in this way. What we also see uh, direct, uh, directly below the score is the compliance risk indicator. So um, credit T, with credit T, it's also possible to um, check uh, the, the, the customer um, against some compliance uh, rules. Um, this can be done automatically for sure, um, because, um, well, this is a really big uh, time saving uh, to, to automate some processes. And uh, compliance check, for example, is a, well, quite good way to start with automatization. For example, the compliance check can be done by the system automatically in the background. No one has to do this manually yet. Yeah, Even if there is a compliance hit, there is a bad compliance score, for example, then Credit T gives the advice, uh, creates a task that someone has to look at it manually. So there's no need that uh, a user or a credit manager has to check every single customer manually step by step can be done even with credit but we would uh, propose to do this in an automatic way. And this is a big advantage of, uh, of a tool of, of, of uh, a credit management solution like credit Um Before I come to the middle part, I would like to concentrate on this part. Here you can see uh, the agents, the reports, so the credit business information, external business information, uh, which has been requested for this company. Um, another big advantage is, uh, of Credit T is that you have all your business information, so all your information uh, which you need to do a good decision. Decision means deliver or not. Decision means um, limit um, in a um, value of X or no limit. A decision means do I need, uh, for example, collaterals? Do I need to uh, do a uh, trade credit insurance uh, for, for this customer. 
all these decisions, yeah. And you have all these information in one system. So you have the information from your ERP system, like your customer master data. You get information uh, from um, credit bureaus or business information provider like Dun & Bradstreet or Skyminder. Um, and Credit here is calculating a score, Credit here is calculating limit proposals, um, and so that you are prepared for making a good decision. Um, yeah, you can also easily by clicking on, on the uh, yeah on the symbol here and on the folder symbol, um, Credit here will um, just open a new tab and you can see uh, as usual, um, yeah, the, the written form of the business information, the, the, which uh, has been provided. In this case, it's a SkyMinder report from for this company uh, with all the relevant information and even financial figures, KPIs, and so on. But all this information will be automatically structured uh, in Credit in the database and can be used, for example, for scoring the limit the customer for calculating a credit limit for the customer and so on. Now the middle part here. While Credit here is a tool for credit manager and to manage the customers, but we have also decided to include the supplier uh, side as well. So it's also possible to um, also um, monitor your supplier side. Um, so it means your, your vendors and so on. Um, you can also easily uh, request credit information from external part or you can calculate scores, you can uh, monitor um, the, the, the expenditure, the budget and so on. Uh, all this then can be done on supplier side as well. In the blue box, you can see the, the buyer side. This means these are your um, internal, internal view of this customer. In this case, we have four buyers. Why do we have four buyers? Maybe you have different subsidiaries and uh, each subsidiary is, has created his own account for this um, legal entity at Ackermann and Von Hauen. Therefore, you have, for example, um, four um, customer numbers for Ackermann and Van Hauen in your ERP system. And what we display here is very simple, an overview about the whole risk, the whole, whole limit and the whole exposure for the, this legal entity. So we summarize um, all the different, all these four accounts in this example, which you have created in your ERP system for one legal, legal entity. You can easily see how high is the current limit, how high is the uh, total exposure for this whole entity, and for sure the um, yeah, as a result uh, of, of these two figures, the available limit um, for this buyer. When I go a little bit deeper into the buyer file, I can see some 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 more information, like uh, some very um, yeah for credit management very important information, like the DSO for example. DSO means they say it's outstanding, and this is a measure uh, of the average number of days that it takes uh, a company to collect payment after sales has been made. So DSO is, is often determined uh, on a monthly, quarterly or annual basis. Uh, and a high DSO number shows that the company is selling its products to a customer on credit and taking longer to collect money. And this may lead to cash flow problems because of long duration between the time of sales and the time of the company receives payment. While the DSO and credit here is calculated on transaction level for each com customer daily in the background. You don't have to take care about this is automatically calculated by, by credit here. And if you are interested in, you will be informed via credit here if there is a change, for example, in the DSO. Also very uh, important figure, figure is the PBI, so means payment behavior index. And that shows you how good or how bad your customer is paying your invoices. Well, the central point for this calculation is the due date. Um, and uh, in contrast to the DSO, where the import dates are, are the document and payment date, important dates are the document and payment dates. Yeah? DSO is, an, uh, is a quantitative KPI and the PPI is a qualitative KPI. Um, 
Yeah, here in this case, we have a DSO of uh, 53 days, and this is a late payer. If I have a look at the payment terms, yeah, normally in uh, 30 days after invoice days, he pays 53 days normally after invoice days. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a late payer, payer here. Well, you can also see the, the total limit, how it is uh, distributed, so, or, and also the exposure. In this case, we have open invoices or not paid invoices of 30, around about 35,000 uh, euro and an um, open order of 22, uh, 25,000 euro. Um, so credit here is uh, supporting you in all these things. Well, as you can see here, there are many other submenus where uh, credit here is, is supporting you. Um, for example, in uh, limit, limit calculation, uh, limit monitoring, uh, also in uh, collateral management. Yeah? If you are requesting collaterals um, or if uh, um, collateral is exceeded, credit can inform you um, all these things. Um, also TCI management, so trade credit insurance, there is no need to log into a different uh, TCI portal to request a, a trade credit uh, limit for, for a single company. This can be done from one system from credit here directly uh, from, from here without changing um, the, the environment, the, the portal, the system, whatever. While well, we have a, a detailed score overview where you can see the development of the score because a single score is just a point of time, but the development in this, of the score, if the, the development is increasing or decreasing of the score, is uh, quite often um, has much more information uh, inside than the single score value. Yeah. Uh, yeah, reporting is uh, important. You can upload documents. You uh, are able to um, send out emails to to your client or maybe to your sales guy or to whomever. Um, this all these things can be done via strategy. Finally, I would like to give you some insights because I really like this part uh, of our um, reporting. As we have heard by Carsten, reporting is quite. Uh, important for credit managers. Normally, they have to prepare report for the uh, um, for, for, for the company that is uh, CSO, uh, CEO or the, for the uh, board and so on. And normally what I quite often see is that there is a, a full-time equivalent who is doing nothing else than reporting. So he is checking lists, he is preparing Excel files, he is typing in some information, he is building some, well, strange pivot tables and so on. Well, this is a quite new um, uh, thing, how we interpret uh, 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 reporting with credit. Well, what you can see here um, is just a demo report. Yeah? Uh, here you have an overview of your whole portfolio. In this example, we have 100 companies in, a, in, in our customer portfolio with an overall limit of 95 million euro, total exposure 70 million euro, uh, average DSO of 61.2 days, and so on. You can also see the distribution of your customer portfolio, for example, by industry or by country or by rating or by payment index. Well, this is uh, always nice, the visualization in the map, and you have the detailed information here in the table below. And now by easily clicking on the figure, everything, every all all the other tiles are changes, changing accordingly to your selection. So I have selected Europe now. Now we have 75 companies left uh, with a limit of X and exposure of, of Epsilon and so on. And now maybe I'm interested in the late payer from companies which are located in Europe. Then I can easily um, add the selection of the late payer and all the other uh, things will be automatically updated uh, accordingly to my selection. And maybe now I'm interested in the uh, yeah not so good rated um, companies, um, customers, and everything uh, is um, updated in time. So 
it's very fast, very quick. Uh, reporting what we uh, prepare here with Gratity always included, and um, you have everything just in time uh, without a big effort uh, available. Well, this was an example of a uh, yeah, current figure report. It's also uh, possible uh, to, to show um, yeah, the, the development of some figures, so historical stuff. For example, here I can see the exposure, uh, how many uh, or the number of exposure, which is uh, past due, so uh, which is not paid uh, in time. Yeah? And here, same functionality, if I click on the different uh, criteria, everything is changing accordingly to this uh, selection. So we start from a global view of uh, our whole customer portfolio and we dive into step by step to the single um, group of customer where I am interested in. In this case, customer from Europe with a worse uh, payment index and also maybe with a worse um, rating. And this is how reporting in uh, Credity is working. While we have many more other, um, I can enlarge this a little bit. We have many more other uh, options here, uh, which I can't show you uh, today. Um, but I hope you, you have um, gotten an overview about what Credity is, how it looks like, and how easily uh, a credit manager can work and navigate through Credity.